Now that is a business end of a Ruger 1022. Yes, already updated by me, Nut and Fancy. I told you I'm busy in my shop all the time. Here's more proof. This is the updated Nut and Fancy Tapco 1022 run and gun. Previously reviewed, you'll see in an annotation where I talked about all my present and upcoming modifications as planned to the gun. Uh, in that video, I talk about what I, each modification is supposed to do for me in a run and gun scenario. You might remember I talked about adding a shorter barrel to it. Standard Ruger factory milled down to accept and threaded, by the way, to accept a Phantom 5C2 flash suppressor. That's it. Permanently attached to the end of the muzzle, coated in Duracoat tactical flat desert earth, contrasting nicely against that already cool uh, tactical coyote brown, as we talked about in the other vid. Isn't that cool? And this is a standard factory Ruger 1022 barrel modded, just like I said I was going to do. And look at how cool that looks. Does that not just lend a very cool appearance to the Ruger 1022? Looks like a sub gun, and yet it's not an SBR that's permanently attached. It can never come off. It's over 16 inches in overall length, therefore it's legal. Doesn't require any special paperwork. On the top there, you see the the regular previously mounted stock 1022 barrel, still wearing that cool John Mason Duracoated flash suppressor, like that one too. But I wanted something a little bit lighter handier, quicker into the firing position. This is it. Isn't that cool? Man, I'm happy with how that turned out. Really like how those two colors contrast against each other. Some guys might be saying, oh, that looks awfully short. Well, let's prove it. Here we have a stock compact Ruger 1022 already reviewed in the project as well. I've shown this in shooting scenarios many times. This is Last Suspect's gun. More or less lining up the receivers on the guns best I can while filming with the other hand and you can see that the barrel length on the Tapco 1022 even just a little bit longer and I think this one's either like 16 and 1 quarter 16 and 1 eighth inch on the factory compact 1022 but with a Tapco stock whoo good looking gun good looking already function fired it indoors it's a hundred percent it's accurate accurate and reliable and, like I said in the other video, I outfitted it with an extended bolt handle. That is a power custom variety thrown in there. And in my initial testing of this, I absolutely love it. Very nice. And unlike that Tactical Innovations Polymer one that flew off the stock handle, this one ain't going anywhere. And, no, I'm not Duracoating it. I like that titanium finish, how it contrasts so nicely against the Coyote Brown. Very cool. Uh, so this gun is set. The only thing I might add is a Volkortzen extractor. Right now it's, it wears a stock extractor in it. I'll run that until if and when I have extraction issues, which I don't anticipate. So I may just leave the stock one in. But if I did add one, it'd be Volkortzen probably. There it is. Quick video showing you the updated Nothing Fancy Tapco 1022. Modded out just like I promised. Man, that's cool looking. Expect to see this in some running guns in a tactical planet. Do some photo shoots with it too. It's just cool. Cool and fun. And 1022s are fun to mod out, aren't they? There you have it. That fancy signing off. Quick update.